You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. As I told you, uh, Brian Kemp was on Fox News. Listen to the nonsense he had said earlier today. Listen. We had a 351% increase on absentee ballot by mail. And when you have the signature check process that's in Georgia, it became overly burdensome for the county elections officials. It took forever. It created a lot of doubt. At times, I'm sure it was arbitrary uh, in place. ID requirement but did it did it cost, in, in your opinion, Governor, do you think it cost Donald Trump the, the, the election in Georgia? Well, I, I wouldn't want to speak to that because I'm not the Secretary of State. The election was certified sure. and, you know, that, that's what it is. What because it is. the guy is challenging the, the guy is challenging the Secretary of State. there is saying just that. I'm just curious what your view is on, on that. Well, I, I'm not worried about who's running for Secretary of State. Um, I'm looking forward to right. running for rec uh, governor on the, the record that I have, and that has been to make it easy to vote and hard to cheat. And I'm Easy to vote, hard to cheat. But the reality is they are actually trying to cheat as we speak. Folks, that's what they're doing. At today's presidential news conference, President Joe Biden was asked about the issue of voting rights, also ending the filibuster, because the Repub Democrats want to pass H.R. 1 that could actually prevent a lot of this voter suppression. Here's what President Joe Biden had to say today from the White House. I want to go back to voting rights. And as Yamish mentioned, Republican legislatures across the country are working to pass bills that would restrict voting, particularly Democrats fear impacting minority voters and young voters, the very people who helped to get you elected in November. Are you worried that if you don't manage to pass voting rights legislation, that your party is going to lose seats and possibly lose control of the House and the Senate in 2022? What I'm worried about is how un-American this whole initiative is. It's sick. It's sick. Deciding in some states that you cannot bring water to people standing in line waiting to vote. Deciding that you're going to end voting at 5 o'clock when working people are just getting off work. Deciding that there will be no absentee ballots under the most rigid circumstances. It's all designed, and I'm going to spend my time doing three things. One, trying to figure out how to pass the legislation passed by the House, number one. Number two, educating the American public. The Republican voters I know find this despicable. Republican voters, the folks out in the, outside this White House. I'm not talking about the, the elected officials. I'm talking about voters, voters. And so I'm convinced that we'll be able to stop this because it is the most pernicious thing. This makes Jim Crow look like Jim Eagle. I mean, this is gigantic what they're trying to do. And it cannot be sustained. And do everything in my power, along with my friends in the House and the Senate, to keep that from, uh, from becoming the law. Is there anything else you can do about it besides passing legislation? The answer is yes, but I'm not going to lay out a strategy in front of the whole world and you now. Thank you very much, Mr. President. I have a question for you, but first, I'd like to follow up on a question from Yamish, and that's on the filibuster. That counts as a question, but go ahead. Okay, I'll make it quick. It's a no, quick no, question. No, no, you can. Uh, regarding the filibuster, at John Lewis's funeral, President Barack Obama said he believed the filibuster was a relic of the Jim Crow era. Do you agree? Yes. If not, why not abolish it if it's a relic of the Jim Crow era? Successful electoral politics is the art of the possible. Let's figure out how we can get this done and move in the direction of significantly changing the abuse of even the filibuster rule first. It's been abused from the time it came into being by an extreme way, 
in the last 20 years. Let's deal with the abuse first. You're moving closer to eliminating the filibuster. Is that correct? I answered your question. Okay, I don't quite understand why President Joe Biden, if you're going to say it's a Jim Crow relic, says it's time to get rid of Jim Crow relics. All right, folks, back to our my unfiltered video in just one moment. It's time to be smart. When we control our institutions, we win. We win. This is the most important news show on television of any racial background. Y'all put two, three, four, five, 10, 15, 20, 30 dollars on this and keep this going. What you've done, Roland, since this crisis came out in full bloom. Anybody watching this, tell your friends, go back and look at the last two weeks, especially of Roland Martin Unfiltered. I mean, hell, go back and look at the last two days. You've had sitting United States senators today, Klobuchar and Harris. Whatever you have that you have, you can bring to Roland Martin Unfiltered to support it. Please do, because this information may literally save your life. Watch Roland Martin Unfiltered daily at 6 p.m. Eastern on YouTube, Facebook, or Periscope, or go to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Support the Roland Martin Unfiltered Daily Digital Show by going to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. RolandMartinUnfiltered.com.